What's up people, welcome back to International. A lot of international students are moving to Darwin these days. People who are planning to come to Australia or people who are already in Australia. And that's why in this video, I have a very special guest. I have Fawad with me today. He makes videos in Hindi for international students. If you guys haven't checked out his videos, you definitely should. His link of his YouTube channel will be in the description down below. But more importantly, Fawad has recently moved to Darwin. And today, we are going to compare cost of living in Melbourne and cost of living in Darwin. Which is better? What are the speciality? And we are going to burst some myth about Darwin. So if you are going to consider moving to Darwin at all right now or in future, this video is just for you. So, check it out. Thank you, Dave, for inviting me in such a great video. Let's talk about Darwin, which is like one of the most important topic nowadays. That is so true. A lot of people are moving to Darwin. It's crazy. At least some people every other day is saying that either we are moving to Tasmania or either we are moving to Darwin. And that's why I was like super excited for this video. But before that, I have a couple of myths about Darwin. And they can be completely wrong. It's just like what people have told me and I've heard that. First is... The Darwin is always hot, like 50 degrees hot. Is that correct? Uh, it's it's not 100% true, but yes, it is yeah. hot. It is like 35, 40 degree uh, most of the time, but it drains a lot, so you don't feel much. So yeah, it, 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 it is hot and humid. That's, that's so good to know. And another thing is, and which is like pretty funny, but somebody had told me that because like the temperature is so hot and like the water is so warm, there are a lot of crocodiles and so many crocodiles that you might be able to find some crocodiles on the streets. That is that true? <laughs> no, no that, that's totally myth. It's, it's not true at all. I've been here for a couple of months. I haven't seen any crocodile walking on the street. So yeah, they, they do have crocodiles here. You cannot swim into the beach because there are a lot of warnings there. You, you do have a lot of crocodile parks here, water parks, but you hard, you're never going to see any crocodile walking on the street. That's not true at all. That is actually a relief. Um, amazing. So now we are going to discuss three important things. First is accommodation and compare it to Melbourne. Second thing is public transport and we are going to compare it to Melbourne and I want to know about food. So the first thing is accommodation. So if we talk about Melbourne, if you're living in the CBD, which is like super expensive, we are paying anywhere around like $200, $300 a week and that goes up to like $1,200 uh, a month. Right? And if we are living in the suburbs, we are paying anywhere around like seven, eight hundred dollars or nine hundred dollars if we have a room by ourselves. And if we are sharing a room, we just have to uh, make it half. So like in the suburbs, we'll pay around like five hundred dollars in CBD. We would pay around like seven, eight hundred dollars. How is it like in Darwin? So Darwin, it's not expensive. Let's start with the Darwin CBD. The Darwin CBD itself, it's it's not huge as Melbourne is, and it uh, it's it it it's not busy as Melbourne is. So the accommodation is just like around 150 to 200 per week, which will be like 500 to 600 dollar per month. And if you go a bit further, like five or 10 k's away from the CBD, then it will be half, like maybe 100 dollar for a week or maybe four hundred dollar for for a separate room four hundred dollars a month yeah for a month that is so good so like what is the population of darwin so as compared to melbourne it's it's nothing like we according to 2016 it's like 147,000 people like yeah and now it's after four years maybe 160 or 170,000 people yeah. right okay and melbourne has is almost reaching i think five million Five million. Yeah, I recently checked. It's almost reaching five million. Okay, let's talk about public transport. So if there's not so many people, I assume like it wouldn't be like Melbourne where we have like trains, trams and buses. And like in Melbourne, what it is like is like we have a cap of nine dollars. That is now like two years back. It was like eight dollars and 20 cents. So like every year it increases a little bit, but we have a cap of nine dollars and we can we have a Mikey card and we can go anywhere in trams, trains and buses. Right. So how is it like in Darwin? So Darwin have no trains, no trams. It has only buses. 
and buses are like pretty good uh, so normally they have two kind of uh, cars the first is normal standard car tap on tap off so and the other one is concession so every day for for one day it's like around gonna cost you seven dollar and for a weekly pass you might have like twenty dollar unlimited uh travel so like for international students if we have like twenty dollars pass then it's like pretty cheap pretty cheap yeah and then if you have a student uh, pass like if you have a student card but you have to m go to the depot and then make a student you have to provide some documents and yes. and i think then it's only one dollar i'm not sure but it's pretty much pretty cheap for the students here yeah i've heard that it's just like around seven eight dollars a week yeah yeah it's pretty much one dollar for a day yeah so like Accommodation is like $500 a month and then public transport let's say like 50 or even like $100 with other expenses like I booked uh, a cab here and there so like that's 100 that's just like $600 right and what what about food like you know like Melbourne is like any any major city in the world right we have like all kind of food all kind of restaurants I personally love like Indian Pakistani food what 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 is it like there in Darwin? So Darwin is because it's a small population city and there's not many people and because most of the time it's hot here so unfortunately we don't have many options we don't have many Indians, Pakistani or Vietnamese or many other options but there there are few Indian restaurants but not many so if you go into the CBD Darwin you hardly can get like one or two kebab shops and it's only one McDonald's in whole CBD and there's only one Hungry Jack's in whole CBD so <laughs> it's pretty small yeah yeah it's 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 hard but like okay how would you describe like do you like to live in Darwin um, I like to live in Darwin if I don't want stress you know and if like you go in Melbourne it's beautiful and everything but you stuck in a traffic it has more stress over there but here it's it's very famous in Darwin in 15 minutes you will be anywhere in Darwin this is this is the famous quote in 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 Darwin and especially if like somebody is an outdoor person then like I, I assume like there are a lot of places to go to like mountains and all those things is that correct there are a lot of beaches but uh, beautiful beaches and it's very famous for sunset and sunrise you will see amazing views when you if you want to go out for sunset and sunrise it's a beautiful beaches and beautiful crocodile parks as well beautiful awesome man that's that's really exciting i'll just sum it up for everybody who's watching so like somebody who is paying for accommodation in Darwin, it would cost around like five hundred dollars let's say five hundred six hundred dollars and then for food let's say groceries would cost around like hundred two hundred dollars and um if you have a car it's obviously better because like commuting becomes easy but if you're using public transport then it's barely going to cost you like 50 to 70 dollars a month and that's why your expense would only be around like six seven eight hundred dollars whereas in melbourne it would range from anywhere from like a thousand dollars to like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, especially for international students because they are not spending as much. Once you are like doing a full time job and everything, it's gonna be a lot more. But uh, thank you so much, Fawad, for like joining me in this video and giving your valuable insight about Darwin. Yeah, no worries. It was a pleasure to come on this video and talk about such a great uh, topic. Beautiful guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell If you have any questions you can write it in the comment sections and we'll try and get back to you If you haven't liked this video do like this video that really helps us promote this video to more and more people And if you haven't shared this video with your friends do share it with your friends so that they get to know what is Darwin like See you in the next video